I'm going to guess that a good many of the people who actually pay attention to my little uh, videos and podcasts are people who tend to lean somewhat to the right. Obviously, there aren't a whole lot of people, though I did just bust 5,000 videos on Rumble, which is a nice thing for me. That is the total number of video views that I've got out there for all my, all my videos. But uh, I kind of have a question for you, and that is, do you tend to lean to the right or to the left? And be honest with you, yourself. And here's a second question. Be honest with yourself. Is there anyone who you hate? What about your friends on the right and the left? What are they, what are they, where do they tend to be on that? Do they tend to hate people? Do they tend to not hate people? Hello, this is the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt. Today is Wednesday, the 13th of January of 2021. It is the middle of the week in many people's reckoning. I know it's the middle of the work week, if you can't say another thing. Welcome for those who are coming to see me on Rumble, come, coming to listen to me on the podcast, or also see me on YouTube. And I wanted to talk today about a subject that is very simply titled, it is hate. I wanted to take, take just a minute to talk about this because I think it's really important. I have a hard time believing I'm unique in the idea that as a person who's closer to the right politically than to the left, um, I ha have encountered very few people who are on the right who genuinely hate their supposed political opposition. I have a hard time believing that that's true, that I'm alone in that, that, I, that I'm the only one that that's true for. Uh, I don't believe that most of the more left-leaning people that I know have a problem with the idea of hating their opposition. Now, I don't, I don't know if I can say most. I can say that there's a pretty good number of people that I know who I believe lean left for whom the idea of hating one's opposition is not only not a bad idea, but it's actually in some measure and in some regard a desirable one, I think. That's the impression that I get. Uh, with regard to people on the left, so then, uh, I, in the best case, I find them to tend to be guilty of a strong disdain for those who are on the right. Uh, and people just generally with whom they disagree, but it happens that for a large part that is people who are on the right. Okay? Um... I know people on the left who genuinely hate people uh, who are closer to the right. Who, who that is, they hate people who are closest, closing in on the right side of the political aisle. Not that they are closer to the right. Just to be clear on that. But the point I'm making here is this: I have a hard time with the idea of hate as a general thing. I use the word sometimes, and I use it far too flippantly at times. But I really have a very hard time imagining anything that I hate. Thing, you understand. Not person, thing. So when you start talking about the idea of hating people, it really that really is something that I have a very hard time with and not something that I do very well. And I'm going to say this again. Most of the people that I know on the right may really dislike an idea, may really dislike a way of governing, but they don't hate them, they just disagree with them and tend to dislike them as something to be used. They don't hate them. Hate is a much stronger thing to me than dislike. There are certain things I think people on the right hate, to be fair. Things, okay, again, slavery, uh, segregation without cause, uh, so racial segregation and so forth. Um, abortion, many of them hate the concept of abortion. They don't like that concept, not at all, not a bit. So from the perspective of things, I think you can find things on the right that, uh, peop that are things that people on the right do not like to the degree that you could actually refer to them as things that are hated. I think that you could find a few people that you could almost argue were hated by the right. Adolf Hitler, maybe. Uh, Mussolini, maybe. Uh, Leonid Brezhnev, for those who are old enough to remember him, maybe. Josef Stalin, for those who are old enough to remember him, maybe. Maybe. But the truth of the matter is, I think that you're almost always going to find for people on the right that it's more about the policies than it is about the person, and that's why they have a hard time talking about people in a hated sort of a way. Uh, we don't like uh, Nazism. We don't like socialism. We don't like communism. Uh, we don't like uh, totalitarianism, we don't like despotism, we don't like uh, tyrannical governments. 
But when it comes to the people that are involved, we I think the, the there's the old expression, hope springs eternal, and I think that that's really true for the people on the right, is that they have a hope that maybe people who are even horrible people can be redeemed. Those of us that are Christians remember the story of Saul of Tarsus, who came to be known as Paul the Apostle. And, uh, and Saul was a horrible human being who, at the very least, was assenting to the killing of Christians before he became one himself, right? And he was redeemed. He actually was redeemed. And so the problem is where we, where we hated what he did, or at, at least extremely disliked it, and I think hated is probably a reasonable word, where we hated what he did when it came down to Paul being who he was, when he changed how he was looking at things, suddenly he became, though it probably took a little while, I shouldn't say suddenly, but he became a, a noted, accepted member of the Christian community who is attributed to have written uh, multiple parts of the biblical text. Okay, so the thing is, if you talk about hating people, I think that even if there is somebody like Mao Zedong, right, who had horrible ideas, in my personal opinion, or Adolf, Adolf Hitler likewise, right? Uh, and I'm sure I could come up with any number more if I were to work very hard. Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il, Jong Jong-il, Jong -il, etc. Right? I think I could come up with any number of people uh, who, I, who I definitely, definitely do, do not like the ideas of. Pol Pot. Right? I think I can do this for a while. Uh, maybe Ho Chi Minh, I'm not sure. I would have to do some more research to know for sure. It's not that I, it's not that I know one way or another. It's that I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, but the point is, I think that what you find about people on the right is if there's anything they hate, it's a thing or an idea, and it's less true for a person as a rule. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that there's nobody on the right who hates people. No, I, I'm quite sure there are. But, so, for example, in this very recent rioting, and, and I'm talking specifically about the rioting, not the demonstration that occurred in Washington, D.C., I don't know how many of the people who were involved in the actual rioting were, were people on the right, but let me just point something out. People on the right basically did everything that they could to stop those people from doing what they were doing when they had the opportunity to do that. And they called them out as being people like Antifa. I don't know if they were or not, but that's what it appears that people were saying. Again, I can't speak for the percentage of people on the left, but there seem to be a lot of people on the left who have a, a disdain, abhorrence, and quite frankly, as much as an outright hate for people on the right. And I think that's a really unfortunate thing. I think that's one of the things that, if anything, will keep us from being able to meet at some point in a place where we can agree things ought to be. The truth is our, our ideologies, for a, for a large part, are sufficiently disparate to make that already problematic. When you add the idea that somebody hates me because of what I believe, as opposed to just dis disagreeing with and potentially disliking and possibly even hating what I believe, it makes it very difficult for people to come together. I guess what I'm saying here is this. If you have the opportunity, really examine people, what you think of them and so forth, and really decide, do I hate this person or is that really not an appropriate thing for me to do? I might even hate this idea. Uh, I might dislike this idea. I might find this idea ho horrible or abhorrent. I got that. But that doesn't mean I hate you as a person because I disagree with what you believe in in terms of ideas. I think you're mistaken. I may think you're confused. But that doesn't mean that I sit there and I go, I hate this person because... No. No, I, I hate actions at times. I hate thoughts at times, ideas at times. I hate things at times. But people, not so much. Not so much. Not even if they're the people who created the things. I recognize that they may have been trying to do the right thing and just not done a good job of it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. The, the final message to me is hating people, probably not a good place to be as a rule. Uh, as I've said, it is Wednesday, the 13th of January of 2021. It is the middle of the work week, so we're on that slide towards the end of the week, towards the weekend, where hopefully we can have a little bit of our own time to do things that we want to do for ourselves with our children and so forth. Uh, tomorrow, then, will be uh, Thursday, the 14th of January, 2021. I'm going to go ahead and try and get another uh, daily summation out then. 
I uh, hope that you are doing well in general. Uh, I don't care if you're a liberal or conservative. I hope you're doing well one way or another. And hopefully we will see you again tomorrow. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video is recorded on Wednesday, the 13th of January of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's religion and politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Church Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurtz Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.